the whole season um, this this time has been played in the shadow of COVID. I mean, last season, you know, it, it was slight, it was slightly affected with it, but the bulk of the season last season was was played normally. This season, because the whole season has been played in the shadow of COVID, if, if you won the title or indeed whoever wins the title, but in terms of you, your your personal opinion, um, would it would it stand along alongside the other titles you've won here? But in in the you know. Some people might say there will be an asterisk against this season because of the way it's been played out. But would it still mean as much to you uh, as a manager uh, in 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 the same way as it would in a normal season in front of fans and with everything being normal? I'm not going to answer. Uh, I'm going to answer your question. Uh, what I want to say is a. Uh, is uh is all the clubs all the team are struggling this shadow from from the covid like you you said so everyone so and in general i'm not thinking about the win the title or or so on believe me of course every team who is on top of the league when i win the premier league i know it and always is there but i don't thinking i'm thinking in my work and job and the players continue being there and, and win the game next game we'll have to play is the only i'm concerned every season this is exceptional because the wall is exceptional because we don't have fans in the stadium and the wall is weird. Uh, still, the virus is there. The the new the new virus maybe appear. Uh, I'm happy, listen, that UK, the cases are decreasing and uh, the people continue being vaccinated for as much as possible and, and step by step. This is only I'm concerned to eradicate. If you tell me what I want for the future, eradicate this pandemic around the world. So... It, Football as poor is a, is a par, but uh, we have to try to finish this, this this situation, and this is the most important thing. The rest, we have to see what to see. Not Manchester City, not myself, not the club are suffering. Everyone, everyone in their own lives are suffering, and and you have to adapt. That's all. So you believe the competition, the competition as it is, 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 is the same, regardless of the COVID, the, the competition to win the Premier League is actually the, the same and it would mean the same to actually whoever wins it, it means the same. Of course, it's not the same because the life is different that we live. It's not the same to go to the stadium without people, without fans, without... You know, I have to fit the meetings two, three times for different groups and we cannot be in the same locker room. The players cannot take shower in the locker room here in the CPA. So everything is weird. So, of course, it's different. But uh, I'm not thinking win the title. I want to win in, in Anfield against Liverpool and after against Swansea and Tottenham. This is only I'm concerned. Thank you, Steve. Next we go Simon Mullock. Hi Pep, um, Hi. I remember when you uh, first came to England um, and you said that it, when you were manager of Barcelona, if you ever made a complaint, it was regarded as a sign of weakness by everybody else. So that's why you tried not to complain too much. Is that still your opinion when you hear other other managers complain like Jürgen has today? It's fine excuses. When I complain to my players, I always say, when you complain, you find excuse. And when you have excuses, you cannot move forward. Excuses is the worst thing in the world in the football and the sport. So I'm not judging what the other man has said, but uh, they come in with Jürgen today, said two, days, two weeks off. So I don't, the purpose, I don't know. You have to ask him or I will ask him on Sunday. But uh, but the reason why the, the, the saying that, but sometimes we do it, the managers. So it's difficult for the managers right after uh, finish one game. Five minutes later, you are so excited for the good thing or bad thing. Make your microphone, answer opinions about decisions, about whatever. It's not easy for us, you know, every manager. But here, when you are relaxed before the press conference, say something to propose for that. I never did it. Or well, did it maybe once or twice for a, an exceptional reason, but not for a... For proposed to only I'm concerned about the game, what you have to do to beat uh, the opponents. But for my lessons as a professional in the football, when you find an, an excuse, you cannot move forward. That's for sure. And sometimes I did it. I had to admit it. But that was a mistake, for sure. And, and ju just to follow up on that as well, uh, clearly Liverpool have had injury problems this season. But is it easy to forget that in previous years you've been without company? 
you've been without uh, De Bruyne, you've been without Aguero for, for long periods. Do you think that tends to get forgotten um, in the seasons that you've had in England? But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if the Liverpool manager or other manager are forgotten. This this is not the problem. The problem is when we had those problems, these problems that we had, with the players that we have, what we have to do to win games. We win games. And last season, we make a more than decent season. Unfortunately, we have an, a, a team like we were when we had 100 points and we were unstoppable. So it's happened. So uh, anything is a turn. But when we didn't have Kevin or have a company or have Laporte or one year now with Sergio, what can I do? Sitting here waiting back? Or, okay, what? how many players we have? This 14? That happened in you know, uh, Stanford Beach? 15, 16, 13? Okay, we have an academy. They are fantastic with Enzo Maresca and uh, his backroom staff and his players. And go in there and play and try to win the game and do as best as possible. That is what you have to do. And we did it. We never use it. We don't have these players. Okay. Fortunately, now Kevin is not there. Sergio is not there. Nathan is there. I wish as soon as possible they come back. This is what I want. But but th- what they have to do is leave them free, recover free, calm, and with the players that we have, go and, and, and try to win games. This is only, the only way I, I knew. I knew from the beginning for my career. And bad, bad decision it was not. Thanks, Pat. Welcome. Thank you, Simon. Um, next we go Phil Thomas Hi Phil Hi Pat um, We know that uh, any team can be any other team in this league but given how your team are playing at the moment when you look out there at the rest of the Premier League is there anything or anyone that worries you or scares you? I'm, I'm an over scared for myself and my team to be worried so I don't know and I don't care I care less I could care less the fact that uh, if the opponents are worried or not worried, I'm pretty sure they are not because every manager and every club team, when play against one team, always believe I can beat them. So when I'm Corey and Les, it's about to maintain and to improve and to improve and to improve our our game. And of course, to maintain our results. That is what I want for my team. And we are going to make a bad game or the opening is better. We'll congratulate them. Like uh, everything happened in this club. When I was uh, when I was in charge and think the next one improve for the previous one to win the next one. This is the only way. And at the end, we are going to analyze the season. It was good, it was bad. We can improve. We can improve. How money we have to spend to to improve the squad is not possible. We continue with the same ones, the academy players. This is the only way. So the past, what we have done, the nine victories in the Premier League in a row is the past. Tomorrow we have to. They have to tomorrow. We have to do a good game to. To, to beat them, not because we have won nine games. So they are the champions, and I know the best version, the best uh, aggressivity, the best desire to win, Liverpool will be there, for sure. So I don't have any doubts. We'll be higher than ever. So we have to be prepared, be ready, and do our game, and be enough uh, aggressive, courage team to, 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 to win the game. And, and given, I mean, a draw wouldn't be the worst result for you, but that lot of basically they've got to win. Would that ever affect how you send a team out? Or would you always go for it? You'll always go for the throat. You'll always go for the win, whoever and whenever. Never, never ever in my career as a manager, prepare a game to draw a game. Never, ever. Never expect something, the mistake for the opponent to punish them. I try to do the game to... To, to create the problems to the, our opponents. Saying that, sometimes it's possible. Saying that, the opponent is better. Saying that, the last 10, 15 minutes, oh, it's impossible to score a goal. It's better than lose. A draw is a good point. Yeah. But in advance, in the beginning, no way. Try to win the game. That's what going to do. Always I have done. But sometimes it's not possible. Sometimes you have an idea. The opponent surprise you. It's better than that day. They have incredible top quality players. And they beat you. Shake hands. Congratulations. Learn from that. Next one. Thank you, Phil. Last couple of questions. We'll go um, Russell Stoddart. Hi, Pep. Hi. Hi. Um, Raheem's scored um, goals in three of his last four games. Um, his record at Anfield since he joined City from Liverpool hasn't been very good. But do you think going back there uh, in an empty stadium, um, he has an opportunity to put that right? I remember last game when we lost 3-1. 
there he made an incredible, an exceptional game. That is, uh, with this, I'm, I'm more than satisfied. But he, you're obviously pleased that he's back in school scoring form. Of course, I want to my strike as attacking midfielders and score everyone two goals a game. So, yeah, this is what I want. He wants to. I would say he wants more than me to score goals. He likes it and he likes to to play in the bigger stages. So, I don't have doubts about about uh, about this. So, what I want is, is all together. Do it all together. So, our best top scorer is seven goals in the Premier League. We are maybe in the third or 14 or 15 position. If we don't understand we have done everything so far all together, or we continue to understand this, or we are going to drop. So anyone is going to solve us. Everyone is going to save us. Anyone is going to be the team, the group, everyone. When this happens, we can compete. When we believe for myself I'm going to do it, or we believe that the rest, the, this guy alongside to me is going to solve or win the game, we are going to lose. Our success all the time, we are together, it was the quality of we have in the players by being as a team. In the statistics, in the statistics, we are far away from the best clubs. But as a, a statistics as a team, it's really good. That's why we are first. <laughs>